Heather Jalad here, cultivator of Fresh Expressions and the North Georgia Conference, community engagement pastor at Mount Pisgah, and mission strategist and trainer for Fresh Expressions US. Like me, you may find yourself in some unprecedented and uncharted territory at this time. It would seem that we need new maps for where it is that we're going. In fact, Todd Bolsinger poses the question in his book, Canoeing the Mountains, what if what do you do when the maps that got you to where you are won't get you to where you're going? It was certainly the case with my oldest daughter when she went to college. It was about a two and a half, three hour drive from our home in Douglasville. She's a senior at Young Harris College now. So this was about three years ago. And when she started her journey toward college, I told her that I really wanted her to take a different route one different than the GPS was gonna take her on, which many of us rely on now, and few of us actually even use maps anymore. But I gave her some very specific directions to keep her on the major roads and off those tiny little windy mountain roads. It was at least 10 times that uh, she started that journey back to college when she would either, she would leave the house and I would get a phone call or I would get a text message and she would ask me to tell her again what those directions were. It makes me think of the Israelites in the Exodus when God was leading them out of captivity and slavery in Egypt to the land that he had prepared for them, the promised land. It was certainly uncharted territory for them. And like us, often uh, we want to go back to the way things used to be or um, even though uh, we may have been uncomfortable in the situation or circumstances that we found ourselves in before. It's familiar. And so we can default to that, just like the, the people of God did when they were in the wilderness. The wilderness can be an uncomfortable place with um, really unanticipated circumstances and situations and um, can call us to, to be and do and um, live in ways that are uncharted territory for us as well. But I'm reminded during the Israelites' uh, journey in the wilderness and Jesus' time in the wilderness that God was preparing uh, his servant and his servants, that that time in the wilderness was a time of preparation. And I think that's worth our time of consideration and pondering what God might be preparing us for on the other side of this. The time in preparation was also a time where reliance on God was of the utmost importance. The Israelites in the book of Exodus were told in the 13th chapter that the Lord went in front of them in a pillar of cloud by day to lead them along the way and in a pillar of fire by night to give them light so that they might travel by day and by night. Neither the pillar of cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night left its place in front of the people. And so like the people of God in the Exodus, we too are called to rely on God during this time. We can't go back. We can't go around. We have to go through. And so as we rely on God during this time, may, be, may we be prepared and preparing for what God has next for us as we chart this new territory with God.